Hey, hello there, person. Welcome to another episode of Making the Game Wraith Binder. And uh, this is a pixel art game. And check it out. Here's where we used to be at with the visuals. I've been working on the visuals a lot the last three, four weeks even. And um, here's where we were a few weeks ago. You notice uh, that, that these HP and MP baubles are, they've, I've started, I've animated them a little bit, but they look really raw and kind of uh, too garish. The, the colors are very, just too much, you know what I mean? And then we've got these dar these darker bobble thingies holding them underneath the liquid, which you can barely see against the background. And then also we have the, the background itself is just sort of too much color banding going on. I've started to use some dithering in, in the shader here at this point, but you really, you're not seeing the beauty yet. You're not seeing a real, everything conge congeal into a nice aesthetic. Um, it's not really doing its own visual language. And I've been learning a lot about visual language the last few weeks and just how to clarify everything. Even the character, look at the character. The character's kind of dark overall. And um, and if we were to put this in grayscale, you'd probably be able to see a little bit of a difference. In fact, that's one of the things I've done recently, um, thanks to a suggestion from somebody tweeting uh, for one of my tweets last week, um, was to put in a grayscale button. And check this out. Here's where we are now. Um, just a huge difference in, in visual quality, difference between that and the GIF I was just showing you. Um, the, the hit point and magic point baubles, or sorry, mana point, sorry, matter point they're matter points i gotta get that correct in this game are um are just a lot more the colors are a lot better now and in fact when i go and i stand right about here um where we've got a nice dark background behind the baubles we can still see them pretty clearly and in fact here's that grayscale button you can still see the outline of the um the baubles the circular outline and you can also see the white line where we've got um, a certain amount so I just put my hit points down to about half and we still have, we still have a nice white line which is which is a uh, part of the visual language right line is part of visual language it's how we convey meaning with visuals and um, putting a little bit of a line around those bubbles helps to outline them to highlight them versus the background especially when we've got a darker background like right about here we've got a really dark background so we need something to be able to put to those two lines really help and then when, the, when you're right here and we have this lighter background, you can still see them pretty well, but it still helps. Um, so check it out. There's really some cool stuff going on with the uh, the actual character themselves. Um, so what I've done here with the characters now is there, um, all of my voxels have always had normals, right? I know when X, if a voxel's pointing a certain direction, then that's gonna be an X1, Y0, Z, negative one, normal, or whatever. Um, so what we can do is we can shine a light ray and decide which voxels are going to be highlighted and which ones are not. But I've broken that into a cool, pretty cool technique. I'm actually pretty proud of this, but um, it's, it's nothing really that special. It's just that I'm applying 2D highlights as well as 3D highlights um, because the character... It's a, since this is, this is pixel art, the character really... I'm taking advantage of both kinds of strengths right we can we can do a lot with the 3d engine here in these voxels but we can also do a lot with the pixels as well so what's going on here is we have the character rendered and then we have a two-dimensional highlight applied only to the right edge because the light in this scene is coming from the bottom right and in fact if we rotate the camera you can see the light changes because the background changes now we've, we're at the other end of the light spectrum you can also see this character's shadow is is the character shadow really tells you where the light's coming from but you can also see it in the background so as we as we rotate back around see how the lighter color is on the left now and the darker color is on the right same thing here and we move around to here and now we've got the lighter color at the bottom and the darker color up top and just really hammering home which way the light is coming from in this scene um, and then so applying that to the character we've got two different kinds of highlights going on there's a 3d highlight and a 2d highlight so the 2d highlight is just totally cheating it's taking the two-dimensional pixel uh rendering of that model like the character and then applying a white highlight wherever there's norm uh sorry 2d normals that would match the light vector and then we're applying a really dark almost black shade to the side that is um that is in shadow um, on a 2D. Once again, on, the, on that 2D, 2D um, normals. So, and then we've got this other thing here. Check it out how the, see how the character's kind of like lit up blue? 
That's because right now I've got a light attached to this turret. It's really not that evident yet. I want to do that this light being being attached to something like an actual lantern or a fire or something like that. So it'll look a lot better. But you can tell that there's some light coming off that turret. And as I move away from it, see how the light gets uh, is is gone now. And we're gonna move a little closer. See how that now we've got a little bit of blue glow coming off of that turret. And it'll get stronger and stronger as I get closer to the turret. Now it's messed up. I need to work on it some more. Um, there, there are certain angles where it's not quite working perfectly, but see now now it's it's lighting up the back of the character That's 3d normal. So the 3d normals actually determine these point lights highlights. See how see now we've got some highlighting on the right side of the character And as we move down here the highlighting goes away when We move back up this way. We're gonna see some highlights applied to the right side of the character There's some highlights. Yep the highlights on the right and the back of the character because that turret is still hitting it. So we've got a system of three-dimensional and two-dimensional highlights, which really just clarify the visual language. So now you can see that when there is a dark highlight applied in 2D on the, on the left edge of this character and a white highlight applied on the right, it's helping to outline the character without it being too garish and too... Usually, typically in pixel art, you'll see this done with just a black outline, right? That's kind of... It's a great technique for for visually conveying that your character is that. This is the character, right? It's got a black outline. You can totally tell it's a character. Um, and that's usually most games. But this game, I want to be a little bit more subtle about how my visual language is, is there, but still be clear. And so I could turn on this grayscale and see whether it's working or not. And you can tell the difference. Let's go back to some screenshots I was taking earlier here in the week. Um, here, is, here is the initial scene. Right. This is what I, I what it looked like right when I first did this gray grayscale button. Um, so you can see once again the bobbles are not outlined yet, and the characters are not outlined either. Um, but let's turn on this little layer. This is where I started doing some. Um, you can see that this is actually here. We move this up. See, this is just some outlining I started drawing. You can see what I was doing here. Um, and basically I just I was testing it out like hey what would it look like if I added in a little bit of a white highlight around this character and what would it look like if I added some white highlight to these baubles and um, and here is a screenshot taken a little bit later you can see look how much clearer this is just with um, those highlights being applied in two dimensions to the characters see how much clearer we already are and this is before I refined it and made it look the best I could so um, let's turn that off again see how those characters were before Here's how they are after, before, after. It's just, it's really nice to have that. It's easier on the eye. And so now I'm gonna apply the same kind of technique and go and really improve the these bobbles up here for the for these characters. We've got a, way too much highlight going on in this screenshot, which has been fixed a little bit. And then also apply some more more line visual language to this uh, this mini map to help that stand out just a tiny bit more. And then also I'd like to see some some more uh, some more of these kind of techniques applied to something like this where we go and we've got an edge right here uh, whoops whoa, whoa, whoa. we've got an edge right here and boom a little bit of a dark edge something like that applied to these edges so we're, we've got a clear difference between the uh, the ground and this sky so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm improving the visual language more and more, applying this technique with shaders and edge highlights and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you with another one later on. See ya.